This is the video that is one of the series of videos where we are sharing our experiences with our partners about our experiences in the market we have on investment analysis. To make it comfortable, we'll use the questions and answers. Nejad, could you please tell us what was the reason you wanted to talk about the aesthetics? Yes, actually, to talk on about aesthetics is very pretentious for me. Before beginning, before everything, I have not studied history of arts and architecture. But I want to talk on about something that I have noticed when I was working with my clients, that they, I mean, investors have a tendency of escape from aesthetics in their building. What is aesthetics in general conception? Yes, from our professional point of view, three simple things, color, geometry, and function. Let's take color first. As we know, color gives human happiness, but not all kind of. Colors, of course, for example, synthetic colors shouldn't be used in a building. As a simple rule, if you have a question about your color chosen in your design, you can ask Monet that he has impressed, you know, all the colors shouldn't be far from the nature. Second is geometry. Unfortunately, today, modern architecture is very brutal. Even it destroys human. For this, what to say, only I can say at least please do not use dead walls in your design. The third one is of course functionalism, which is one of the most important reference points in the industrial design because all the things comes to production in industry. So, if you combine these three things into one, you'll agree with your subconscious, because subconscious says that if something disturbs your eyes, it is most probably not safe. And vice versa, if something is safe, it's aesthetic. So this can be used on any kind of engineering structures, even a small industrial production element. And also today, more and more managers are involved to the production process at the factory. And if you want to attract the people to work with you, your building architecturally has to be outstanding. So it is very difficult to understand really why the developers, investors cannot follow at least the minimum architectural requirements and why they Pragmatism lets them to construct these unsatisfactorily ugly boxes. Maybe the cost? No, I don't think that the cost of design will be more than 20% and the material and workmanship will be more than 5%. Value engineers should focus on these things actually. They shouldn't focus on the period, on the period of construction but they should imagine the future of the territory, the future business. Here, let me give you an example about airport business sector that in all airport design, all the buildings, all the airport buildings are designed to be expanded in the future by adding terminal buildings. In other words, it means that there is no completed airport building in the world. Because it's because of the simple rule in airport business that if a country, if in a country GDP is 1%, the air business increases the same, but two times more than the GDP, 2%. So the same thing can be used by the designers and the value engineers that they should take care, not only the drawing, but also the financial model together when studying different expansion scenarios in the industrial design. What does that give you? 
Yes, actually, first, it gives satisfactory of your, and loyalty, of course, of your workers and managers whom you work with. And also, the advertisement costs will be decreased, minimum 50%, I think, because of your new design. And the third would be your future value of the building, which, is, which at, it has been increased already by the new concept, can be used as a leverage for the bank. Aren't there any building aesthetics in Russia? Of course there are. But here I want to say, I want to mention a word of concept. If you have a concept, your design has a soul. If you use these two meanings, and even you can add a concept of history, the result will be excellent. For this, I can say, I can give an example in the city that the Krasnaya Rosa project in Moscow, which has been renovated from an historical building into an office building by using loft design, is very beautiful. Even the project gave the name to the developer company. Do you know where the name comes from? No, maybe an aberration as usual in Russia. Yes, Krasnaya Rosa, it's an old, fact, old textile factory. It's constructed in 19th century and was dedicated to Rosa Luxemburg, who is the close friend of Clara Setkin, well known in Russia better than her. Would you give an example of aesthetic industrial building in Russia? Yes, the new example can be Bosco Manufactura in Kaluga region. There is not only the architectural design and the shape of the building and other conceptual decisions, but also the materials has been, have been cho chosen environment friendly and also the comfort of the workers have been studied at very serious levels. So if we turn back the subject again, a building is constructed aesthetically because of two reasons commercial and artistic reasons. But I'll say here a different thing, that forget about these old things and think that your building, your future of the, your building is in your hand when you draw it. Don't escape from aesthetics, escape from ordinaries. Thank you for watching.